Hey guys, and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to set up IntelliJ to create your first Minecraft Spigot plugin. Okay, so first off, you want to go to the IntelliJ website and download IntelliJ. I've left the link to this website in the description, so all you have to do is go onto the website and click the download button. Secondly, we need to download build tools, which we're going to use to build our Spigot plugins. Uh, this is essential for using IntelliJ and Maven, which we'll cover later on. So go on to the description, click the link and download the jar. Thirdly, if you've never ever developed uh, with Java before, you're going to need to download the JDK. So go on to their website. If you're using Windows, um, come down here and click the JDK x64 XCE download button. Okay guys, so I've just finished downloading all them applications. So the first thing we're going to do is install the JDK. So you just double click, hit yes. And as you can see, it says the version of this JDK is already installed. Please install the JDK and run this installer again. I've already installed JDK. The JDK is obviously I've created Spigot plugins before. So if you haven't, what I want you to do is to run the installer and just simply keep clicking next. That's all there is to it and it will install the JDK for you. Secondly, I want you to run the uh, IntelliJ install file. Hit yes. So once you're here, you click next, uh, click next again, next. So I need to just select an empty folder as I already have, already have it installed. That shouldn't be an issue for you. Hit next. Once you come to here, I'm going to create a 64-bit launcher. Add open folders project, add launchers dir to the path and create the .java association. Hit next, then hit install, and IntelliJ should install for you. I don't know if that was great or not, to be honest. Okay, so usually after installing IntelliJ, you're going to require a restart, so hopefully you've now done that. The last thing we need to do is to install build tools. So what I want you to do is right click, hit new, text document, call it anything, I'll just call it run. Open the text document. I want you to paste this long of code, which I've uh, left in the description. This is basically just going to um, tell, it's gonna create a bat file, which will run the build, to, uh, the build tools jar. So you have to make sure your jar file corresponds to the name you have in here. And it's gonna download the latest version of the spigot jar that's available. So hit file, save as run.bat or anything.bat, it doesn't matter. Then I want you to run the bat file and as you can see, it says could not find portable Git installation downloading because I don't have portable Git downloaded. So once this has once this has finished downloading, I'll come right back. Okay, so hopefully you have just finished installing build tools. You should see loads of folders uh, such as the ones I have here. These allow you to access NMS, which is the Net Minecraft server and the Spigot API. You should also see that you should have the latest version of the Spigot jar, which will allow you to create a Minecraft server. Um, along with developing Minecraft plugins. So what I want you to now do is open up IntelliJ. You should see a window like this. However, you probably don't have any recent projects unless you've used it for other non spigot related projects. Hit configure, then hit plugins. I want you to go to the marketplace and I want you to type spigot. And I want you to download the Minecraft development package by Demon Wav. Um, this really streams on, streamlines the development process. Um, otherwise, it can be very slow um, and repetitive creating new projects and setting up the same boilerplate tempo or the same boilerplate template. Um, I also have the material theme installed, uh, which is quite a nice theme. So once you've done that, I want you to hit OK and then create new project. So along the side, you should have Java, Java FX, um, all these project types, but you should also have Minecraft. Now, I want you to click Minecraft and click Spigot plugin, hit next. Group ID. So this group ID is used by something called Maven. And Maven is a package which you're going to be using to build your Minecraft plugin. It's what's going to actually create your jar for you. Now, you don't really need to understand how Maven works at the moment. Uh, but your group ID needs to be a line which is completely unique to you and that only you are going to be using. This is to um, prevent namespace um, conflicts with other plugins. So if you have a domain, um, you should use that, such as com.youtube, and it should be written in this order, backwards, com.youtube. Um, I don't, so I'm gonna use org.thespigotguru. 
then your artifact ID is usually just um, the name of your plugin is what I use so uh, YouTube tutorial then I want you to hit next uh, your plugin name and main class name you can leave as is you can add a description authors website um, depend soft depend uh, you probably don't need this um, these are going to be added to your uh, plugin.yml so I'm just going to put in the description uh, my YouTube tutorial Arthur the spigot guru okay hit next again project name so YouTube tutorial for me then hit finish when that has all loaded up, you'll see that we have a main class called uh, YouTube Tutorial.java, as that's what I've called my main class. And this is what a Spigot plugin looks like. So in some future videos, I'll be running you through how Spigot plugin works. However, uh, for now, we're going to leave it at this. This is how they, uh, this is what it shows up as. If we go to our Java file and our resources and our plugin.yml, we can see that the plugin.yml has been automatically generated for us, which uh, basically just defines certain things about our plugin, such as where the main class is, who wrote the plugin, and a description of the plugin. Um, so what I'm going to do is in the on enable, I'm just going to write system uh, dot YouTube tutorial. And this is just going to print a line uh, YouTube tutorial to the server console, uh, which will uh, show us that the plugin is working. So to build the plugin, to create your plugin jar, I want you to go up to the toolbar on the top right hand side and click the green um, play button or alternatively you can hit shift F10. So when you click that it will take a few seconds to build, especially if it's the first time the plugin is being built. Then I want you to go over to your project view, hit the target folder, right click, show an explorer, go into the target folder, and here you have your plugin. This is your actual plugin. So I'm just going to copy that into a server and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've loaded up my server and as you can see in the server log, I have YouTube tutorial being printed and I also have YouTube tutorial enabling YouTube tutorial version 1.0 snapshot. So hopefully this has been easy to follow. If you have any questions or queries about this video or future videos, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks very much for watching.